during the debate on the future of mathematics at the beginning of the 20th century and discoveries in fields of metamathematics showing limitations of use of any finite formal systems, technological progress has significantly accelerated. In particular, technological progress in fields of communication and information processing triggered the birth of such disciplines as cybernetics, artificial intelligence and cognitive science. It has also profound impact on aggrandizement of the position arguing that human mind works like a computer. Generally, the question whether the human mind is equivalent to a computer became a milestone of a nascent cognitive science. What is a computer then? Referring to his 1936 publication on computable numbers with an application to the Enchenuk problem, Turing gave a succinct definition of a computer in his 1948 essay, Intelligent Machinery. This theoretical concept of a computer is known as a Turing machine. Gettle's and Turing's works showing limitations of any finite formal system became a profound argument against thesis that human mind really does work like a Turing machine. The classical version of this argument has been formed by Lucas. He argues that any computer works within some finite set of formal symbols so in a meaning it is inconsistent or incomplete. In contrary, the human mind is not. It can always prove any statement the machine cannot. Nowadays, the majority replies that argument is just fake. First of all, if we recognize some unlimited openness of human mind due to possibility of its modifications resulting from evolution processes, we shall also recognize that machines can also adjust according to random data and random actions. The source of randomness may be both external like engineers' modifications or internal like randomness generators implemented in machines. Besides, use of pseudo-random data, which can be argued and produced by another deterministic and limited set of formal symbols, we still can point on possibility on merger, on technology, on biology or just use of indeterministic quantum effects. Independently, whether we recognize these machines as a deterministic or indeterministic machines, due to interpretation of any physical laws they are, probably we will still insist on naming them machines. And second of all, who presume that we, human species, are not limited in some reasonable time where deeper laws of evolution cannot even start their action? Nowadays, we have to admit that there is no meaningful argument that most of phenomena constituting our minds cannot be simulated or even created within the use of simple computers. Moreover, for sure it may be simulated or even created within some other machines.